Ah, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. Only a couple of you guys got named that tune on the last video. And I dropped two songs in there. And some of you guys only answered one. And you left the other one hanging. So if you're going to name these tunes, you got to drop them all in the comment section. I'm reading those comments to see who gets it. <laughs> all right, things are moving pretty quick right now. So I'm going to take you guys inside. Me and Gary are doing the interior gable in with that smart match okay we're going to show you how that goes up on this end right right here and we're going to get busy today's going to be fast and furious and then we're also going to talk about those electrical outlets so don't go anywhere okay let's get going Now that actually went up pretty smooth. So that's the smart match that you can get as an option with this kit. Okay, this is a log cabin kit that my mom bought off the internet that we're putting together for. We brought her up out of the city and we're bringing her to the country. One day this is all gonna be finished. She was actually supposed to move in on June 30th, if you're new around here. And we missed our deadline. I broke my ribs, the project got delayed a little bit. I've had some awesome friends step in and uh, help pick up the slack. But this is where we're at right now and mom is living in friends houses and she's been in the hotel and now it's gonna be airbnb for a second and then we're gonna bring her in here so we're trying really hard to get finished here but that smart match is pretty easy to work with and as you can see it just takes that log cabin right up the side of this gable end here so it makes for a real nice look so i did bleach clean these interior logs and let them dry and i'll have to do that with the same thing up there so it all kind of blends together 
and I did that uh, on these just to kind of lighten them up a little bit. We want the walls to be light. I put dark walls in our cabin and Stacy's always complaining that it's a little too dark inside. So we focused on the walls inside this cabin uh, and the ceiling to be kind of whitish, you know, brighter. And then uh, we went with a little darker floor. And then I'm thinking about staining that beam up there. So we'll see what you guys think about that. See how I feel about it. So I've asked Stacy, I'm probably gonna do a little sample spot and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. But so we got that done, and now we're gonna get on this electric. All right, some of you guys are saying you're not supposed to use a 12 gauge wiring into a 15 amp receptacle. Yes, you can. It is code on exception of commercial. Commercial, you want to use the 20 amp receptacles, and some of these things don't want to come apart. And so, anyway, that's because uh, they work good. They work good. <laughs> All right, so you can use the 12 gauge wire in a 15 amp receptacle. Correct. It is code. One thing I'm doing to make sure in case I get sidetracked, every one that I'm doing, it gets a piece of green tape. So that way it's done. <clears throat> now see, some of them pull right out of there, see? No nail required. All right, another tidbit, ground right here. Residential, it's your choice, up or down, it doesn't matter, it's not in a code. Now, unless you're talking about hospitals, commercials, things of that nature, ground has to be turned this way. But here in the United States, it's right here, it's just any way you want it. So we always, almost everybody puts the ground down. See, some of them are hit and miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you really gotta work on them. Yeah. This one you gotta work on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That's a gold side, silver side. Hold on, show them that again. Gold. Gold. Silver. Now, come on, folks. Can you tell that's a gold and silver? Come on, gold. Silver. Roll it around a bunch of times. Scramble it up. <laughs> now show them. Silver. That's gold. Oh, well, see, see. All right, tell them the trick. Okay, what it is, if you notice this is your ground, bare wire, okay, your common or the silver screws is always on the same side as the ground. Actually, this works really good if somebody has a hard time seeing or that is colorblind. You can tell the white wires always goes on your silver, and that's where the ground is at and they're always lines up on the same side. This is always your hot. Nice. So that's the grand tour for today. So you guys got to see the gable end being put on and then we went over all those electrical uh, boxes with you guys. Uh, Gary actually works for his city, his county, okay, as a code person, right? Like they have these, um, every county has a group of people that meet and they go over the codes, right? Building codes. And there's a national building code and then there's, you know, your little area building codes and they can adjust uh, the building codes, right? So Gary uh, is pretty good with this information. He's kind of update on this information. And here's what we found out and here's what Gary said, as you saw in the clips, but we also talked about um, putting the wire in the back of the outlets, right? So you, okay, here's the deal. Ralph is old school electrician, right? He's been around a long time. He's done this stuff for years and codes kind of change. So if you're not in this all the time, fresh on it, right? You're gonna miss some of this stuff, but it's the same stuff pretty much we've been doing. So Ralph has, uh, I talked to Ralph and Ralph said that, you know, back in the day you could get the outlet and the outlet had the hole on the back and you could put either wire inside of there, right? It was no problem. So what happened? So, you know, they probably used that and then some guy probably didn't push it in all the way and then it caught a fire or something. And then later on they make a new outlet code, right? And they say, okay, so this gauge wire can go in the back, but anything else put on the sides. And so that's kind of how it went. And so 
Ralph's doing something that he's been doing for years, something that's worked, and only, you know, a few, you saw in the video, right, there, there was one that was really loose, you know, just pulled right out, but all the rest of them were really tight, and then another one kind of loose, so it's like a, not even a 50-50, it's just a here and there, okay, but to err on the side of caution, right, uh, we took those out, we explained to you as we were replacing them, you know, what was up with them and why you wanted to do it this way. And so an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So that's what we did. We took out the outlets, we marked them all, we changed them, and we put them back in. But just for the record, like nothing that we did was really wrong or against code or, you know, uh, was shoddy, okay? It's just that the code changed a little bit and they just prefer that you put those on the side posts, okay? So I appreciate all the comments down in the comments section. That's good, we read the comments. We're, we don't take offense to them, you know, unless you're just, you know, leaving an offensive comment. But if you guys are trying to help along, you know, we do appreciate that. Many people do on YouTube. But, you know, and again, in the comments section, you can get kind of pushy, and there are people that are kind of pushing their uh, talking point, and it's not correct. Does that make sense? But there's a lot of people that watch this stuff, know what's going on, and they're offering their suggestions. And we do read the comments, and we make um, adjustments to them. So that's all I got for you guys today. We did the gable in there. We've switched out all the outlets. Gary's going to be on his way up here pretty soon, and so is Rich. Uh, I didn't show you guys this, but we also did some staining, and we got a lot of this boards uh, put down underneath the porch here. So we'll show you some of that today because Rich is going to come by. He's going to stain a lot more of these boards. And we're trying to get all the lumber off the driveway because I have to do some grade work there and get ready for the air conditioner to be set and stuff like that. So we got a lot of stuff going on. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And, uh, you know, follow us along as we build this house for mom, bring her up out of the city into the country, and we're two months behind. <laughs> and she's living in suitcases, and i got to get going. So we're trying really hard. And, Gary, thanks a lot for coming up, man. You're... I don't even know what to say about it, but I really appreciate it. And everyone else who's chipped in and helped out, and uh, that's it, man. I'll see you guys this weekend at the Homesteading Life Conference. You guys might get one more video this week, right? I'm slam dunked. We have a big conference where we have hundreds of people that come into Hannibal, Missouri every year to learn about homesteading and, and growing food and rainwater catchment and... You know, everything to do with this lifestyle, and we do this every year in Hannibal, Missouri, so it's a really good time. It's called the Homesteading Life Conference, and there's one other conference that's called the Homesteaders of America Conference, and that's in October in Virginia, and we'll be there as well. We're speakers and presenters. We're having a fermenting class, uh, hands-on workshop there. So, And we have hands-on workshops, really two good, great conferences. If you can't make it to ours, uh, go to the Homesteaders of America and vice versa. So I'm going to get busy. We'll see you guys on the next video, and we're really moving along. So, if you got any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for those tips on the uh, electric. We got them all switched out, so mom's house is not going to be burning down or catching fire, or we're all going to be sleeping good at night. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys on the next one.